Hello and welcome to Channel's Book Club. I am Olakunle Kasumo. Nigeria has produced and keeps producing very talented writers. Because of this, more and more international publishers are seeking new African talents whose works they can publish for a global audience that is getting hungrier for African literature produced by emerging African, especially Nigerian writers. One of these emerging new writers is Odafe Atogo, the author of this intriguing novel titled Taduno's Song, which is Odafe's debut work. The global publishing rights for Taduno's Song was acquired by Canon Gate, United Kingdom, which first published the novel in the UK in 2016. Since then, it has been translated into German, Italian, and Turkish, and has been published in Nigeria. Odafe was born in Nigeria, lives in Abuja, and is a full-time writer currently working on a third novel. He joins us to discuss his life as a writer and his novel, Taduno Song. Thank you for joining us on Channels Book Club. Thank you very much, Kunle, for having me. Nice my, to have you here. My pleasure. Um, Taduno Song. Yes, Taduno Song. This is your first novel. My first novel, yeah. Lovely work. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sure a, a, a lot of people like to know you. Um, writers, Nigerian writers right. particularly, yeah. I find them very impressive because um, considering the enormous amount of challenges oh. they have to go through, yes. um, the publishing sector in the country that is just growing, mm -hmm. um, multiple challenges, and, and of course the competition, the global competition yeah. out there. Mm -hmm. you know, so well done to you, and, you and all, all the great writers out, out there. Thank you very much. Um, What's your story? How, how did writing start for you? Um, basically, I would say writing started for me from when I was a child. Growing up, um, I began to um, write letters to my father it, because he was, I, I was not living with my parents, so I would write letters, but letters, these letters never got to, to, to my father. So I think that was the stage where, when I started, you know, Try my hand. Wasn't pen on paper. paper writing, yes. And um, of course, when I went back to my to my to my father, living with my father, I found communicating with him very difficult because he was not so disposed to sitting down with me or my siblings for a chat. So whenever I want anything from him or to discuss some important issues, I will put it in a letter. Write them down in letters and, and give it to him. Interesting. So. And uh, interestingly, my dad, my father never supported me becoming, pursuing a career as a writer, you know. Um, he wanted me to become an accountant. And I said I wanted to become a writer. I said, no, writers are very poor people. Oh, you, you had wanted to become a writer very early? Yes, very early. He said, oh. no, I have to become an accountant. Writers are very poor people. So, um, interestingly, because of the gap in communication between me and my father, he was preparing me for a career in writing without knowing. You know. <laughs> because, I mean, you kept writing yes. him. So, yeah. and these letters for me, you know, like I want to buy a pair of shoes. I have to put it, put it down in writing to my father. And, and that's I'm, because I'm, you couldn't communicate yes, with him. Yes, and I have to be very convincing in the letter. Why do I need a pair of shoes? Why do I need this or do I need that? I have to be convincing. So, in that process, I was like learning mm. to be, um, to be convincing, sharpening, your skills, sharpening my in, skills, describing my, your you know, thoughts, your desires, you know, you know, what you wanted. And most times, I would capture the letter so very well that I would, I would, I would get whatever you know I want from him. So I think that, that was the beginning for me, really. You know, I've had a lot of stories about how writers started writing, yes. but yours is very different. Unique. This, this is the first time. <laughs> I'm hearing a story like this. So, Very yeah, unique. Yeah. So that was how you started writing. Yes. Okay, I mean, because we don't have so much time. Yes. Let, let's jump to Taduno's song. Right. You know, what's the story behind it? At, at what point did you decide to write the book? And then mm -hmm. give, us, give us a hint, I mean, a, a, a peep into um, what Taduno's song is all about. Okay, um, I started writing Taduno's song in January of 2013. And then, pr prior to that, I written a book, and this is very interesting. Um, I wrote the first four chapter chapters of that book, and I sent it to I sent it to an editor in UK with Penguin Random House. And 
to my utter surprise, he got back to me within two hours, which is unprecedented, mm. as far as I know, and said, I read the first four chapters of your book. I want the, the rest. And I'd only written four chapters at that point. And I'd read somewhere that you don't tell an editor that, look, I've not finished the book. They will just lose interest. Mm -hmm. So what do I do? I was desperate to get a publishing deal. So I, I sent him an email. I said, look, I've finished the book, but just give me two weeks to um, polish it to up, polish it up do some bit of editing. He said, no problem. I was on the first four chapters. So and life situation in Abuja then was bad. So I had to go and buy a small generator for about 10,000 Naira. So working 22 hours a day for two weeks, I finished the book, a book of 400 pages. 22 hours yes. a I was day cutting, for two weeks? Yes. I was a desperate man. I was desperate to grab the opportunity, you know, because you have an editor from Penguin Random House taking an interest in your work. That's a big deal. Mm. Yeah. So um, unfortunately, as you would expect, I destroyed the story because you can't write, uh, you can't write a story in two, in two weeks, a good story in two weeks. So when I sent the rest of the manuscript to the editor, he was disappointed. Mm. And even the uh, agents he had sent the first four chapters to who should, you know, very um, great interest, they were all disappointed. Mm. So at that point, I was clutching at straws. I started trying to edit, rewrite places, and, but it wasn't working. So he said to me, start a new story. And that's how I started Taduno's Taduno Song. Song. Now, Taduno's Song first came to me, the, the idea first came to me on a holiday trip to Ireland, Dublin. I went sightseeing um, um, at the house of, of, of Bono, the U2 um, musician. Mm -hmm. And I saw some words written on the gate, very inspiring words. I can't remember the actual words now, but you know, very, very literary, like poetry, sort of, you know, inspiring words. And my friend, my Irish friend that took me there was telling me about how influential Bono is in Ireland and the world generally. And it occurred to me that we also have a very influential figure, music, musical figure in Nigeria, in the person of Fela Kuti. Fela, Fela. You know? And I told him, I said, do you know Fela Kuti? He said, no. I said, okay, he is a big deal as well. He, he, he was a campaigner for the downtrodden, you know, he was, he, he was a very powerful and very iconic musician. So from that point, it occurred to me that, come on, there's a story to be told here. A man that used his, uh, his music as a weapon against tyranny, that used his music as a weapon against, to campaign against corruption and the many mm -hmm, ills yeah. bedeviling the Nigerian society. That's a big deal. You create a story out of that. Out of that. And I realized that 20 years, almost 20 years after Fela's death, most of the things, all the things he preached against through his music are still We still plaguing, see, them, see them every day. You know? Yeah. So it now occurred to me to write a story, a fable-like story that will remind us that once upon a time, there lived a man called Fela Kuti. But this is not about Fela Kuti. It's about what he did with music. It's about the power of music, the power of the arts generally, to transform society. So this book is about, is, is written to showcase how music and the arts generally can help. Can be used to, used to, to reform transform society. society.